This is Adi Sharma Solution Class 12, Chapter 12, Higher Order Derivatives. Exercise is 12.1. If y is equal to e raised minus x cos x, we have to show that d2y by dx2, that is the double derivative, is equal to 2e raised minus x sin x. That means you have to derive or differentiate this twice. Okay, so let's start. y is equal to e raised minus x cos x. y prime or dy by dx we'll find out and this is going to be let's take e minus x outside then cos x will be minus sin x. So I'm applying the product rule and those who want to do by themselves take a reference. They can have a reference. Uh, let's proceed with our solution now. Minus sin x then cos x will remain like that. I'm indicating you the product rule. e raised minus x is e raised minus x, but you have to differentiate negative x also. It will be negative 1 then. So we'll take a negative outside because there are two negatives inside. So we take a negative outside and whatever is remaining, we'll keep it inside. So this is e raised minus x sin x. Here we have plus e raised minus x cos x. Okay, now we have to do d2y by dx2. y double prime or d2y by dx2. But when we are doing this, we have to see that when we differentiate e raised minus x cos x inside, which you see the second term here, that already we have done. So this differentiation already been done and the result is this one. So we are not going to differentiate it again. We are going to put the same result in the final d2y by dx2 directly. So we'll differentiate e raised minus x sin x separately. So we have this minus I'm just doing e raise minus x sin x now. So e minus x sin x will be e minus x like that sin x. This is differentiation we are doing e raise minus x. So we are doing the d2y by dx2 of this. Sin x will be cos x. Then sin x will come here. e raise minus x will be e raise minus x. Differentiation of negative x will be negative 1. So I'm just replacing it by negative. So in this place, I'm writing this e raise minus x cos x minus sin x e raise minus x. Okay, this whole content we have to put here. Okay, so this total one in place of e raise minus x cos x you have to write minus in the brackets e raise minus x sin x plus e raise minus x cos x. So since we have a negative, let's uh, write the previous one only e raise minus x sin x minus e raise minus x cos x. So what all the cal cal uh, cancellation can be done? This this is being cancelled e raise minus x cos x and this will be minus 2 negative 2 sin x e raise minus x and minus is already outside minus minus will be plus so 2 sin x e raise minus x or you can take e raise minus x in the front. This is your final answer. This is how you do write also. y is equal to x plus 10x. So we have to show that cos square x d2y by dx2 minus 2y plus 2x equals 0. Now if you see in the solution that is what they have wanted from us. They are wanting from us is cos square x and uh, th there is 2y plus 2x also that is negative 2y plus 2x. So we are not getting any point right now. So it's better that we just go ahead. That means we just go ahead and uh, Try to solve the way it is. y is equal to x plus 10x. So this is dy by dx. This is equal to x is 1. And we have 10x as x square x. So we have d2y by dx2. See, we have to differentiate it again. Let's differentiate it again. So d2y by dx2 will be equal to 1 will be 0. The differentiation of 1 will be 0. And sec square x will be 2 sec x. And sec x will be sec x tan x. So this is 2 sec square x. And then we have tan x. Okay. So this cos square x we want. And we see sec square on the right hand side. So if we bring this sec square x on the left hand side, it will be cos square x. So we are trying to make this equation which the examiner would have wanted from us. So sec square x if it goes on the left hand side it will be cos square x. Eventually this sec square x first will go to the denominator then it will go to the numerator and then it will be cos square x. Now what do we have here? Cos square x d2y by dx2 we have already got d2y by dx2 cos square x. On the right we still have to find out the 2y minus 2x. That is if you take this minus 2y plus 2x on right hand side, we would need minus 2x uh, and plus 2y. Now this is 2 tan x here. So the first equation from where we have started, you can write 10x as you take x on other side, it will be y minus x. When you multiply it by 2 both sides, it will be 2 tan x equals 2y minus 2x. So in place of 2 tan x, you can simply write 2y minus 2x. In place of 2 tan x, just write 2y minus 2x. So now bring it here. So cos square x d2y by dx2 
plus uh, let it be negative because the equation has negative first so minus 2y plus 2x is equal to 0 so this equation is matching clearly and how we are going to write the way we are going to write is being provided to you on the left hand side that is the actual solution with all the content which you have to write this is differentiating dividing both sides has proved like that. next one is y equals x cube log x prove that d4 y by dx4 is equal to 6 by x so you have to differentiate this four times four times we have y is equal to x cube log x so this is differentiation differentiation four times so dy by dx will be equal to we have x cube log x so x cube log x is 1 by x plus log x x cube will be 3x square this is the first differentiation x you can cancel this out x with x square so you have x square here plus 3x square log x and then we have d2y by dx2 so second differentiation we are doing now so x square will be 2x simply plus 3 now x square log x will do it somewhere else and put the result here so x square x square will be x square and log x will be 1 by x so i'm doing it separately right so x square into 1 by x plus log x let it be here x square differentiation is 2x so you get this you can cancel this x and x square can be cancelled so you get x only here plus 2x log x so inside this bracket you have x plus 2x log x and 3 is outside so multiply it and write so you get 3x plus 3 to the 6x log x so this 2x plus 3x will be equal to 5x 5x plus 6x log x so on the left i've tried to show you the solution that you can follow if you are uh, well aware of this solution now for those who are actually interested in the solution let us proceed for 5x plus 6x log x now this this will be the third differentiation which we are going to do now so 5x plus 6x log x there is there will be one more after this so 5x differentiation is 5, 6, x log x will do it separately. So x log x is 1 by x plus log x, differentiation of x will be 1. So 1 plus log x you will get. 5 plus 6, 1 plus log x. So 5 plus 6, I'm multiplying 6, is 6 inside. So 6 plus 6 log x, you get 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 plus 6 log x. So this is d2, d3y by dx3, not d4y by dx4 we have got. Differentiation of constant is 0, 6 log x is 1 by x, so you get 6 by x, finally. So this is the fourth order derivative or higher order derivative of function y equals x cube log x you have to write it like this which i am showing you right now. next one is if y is equal to log sin x prove that d3 y by dx3 is equal to 2 cos x cos x square x cos x cube x oh this cos x cube x so this differentiation of all the trigonometric and inverse trigonometric log e to the power x you should know all of this then only you'll be able to solve these kind of questions so we have y is equal to log sin x so three times we are going to differentiate it so dy by dx will be equal to log of anything will be one by that thing so one by sin x so sin x will be cos x cos x by sin x is nothing but cot x so dy by dx is this one. now let us differentiate it again d2 y by dx2 cot x is is minus cos x square x this is d2y by dx2 d3y by dx3 differentiation of this so this is if assume it to be x to the power n differentiation of x to the power n is n x to the power n minus 1. so n x to the power n minus 1 differentiation you get twice of cos x and then you have cos x cot x the differentiation of cos x is cos x cot x with a sign i'll just show you and those who really want to see how you have to write i'll show you the solution just now but this is the this is the third differentiation so this is minus 2 cos x and as i said cos x will be difference differentiating to cos x cot x with a sign so minus minus will become plus we have cos x already cos x cot x let us write so you have twice of cos x square x cot x twice of cos x square cot x okay but the thing is the answer is not saying that cos x square x cot x so the best way is to write in form of, in the form of sine and cos so when we can write it in the form of sine and cos then we can uh, get some sort of cos x and cos x cube x so the first or the basic method is to write this cot x as cos x by sine x cos x as 1 by sine square x in this way you can proceed i'll just show you that way but it will be better to do it this way only which I am doing. So twice of, so as I said, co cot x is cos x by sin x. Cos x square is, is, is 1 by sin square x. So we are getting cos x cube x. Why? Because cos x square x, 1 by sin x can be taken above in the numerator. So cos x square x into cos x, cos x, x is cos x cube x. And you already have a cos x. Okay. So 2 into cos x cube x and cos x we have got. See, normally in this question what happens, we we will find out two cos x square x cot x and we'll say oh this is the answer and we'll just go forward but it is not the case the case is you can 
easily find out to cosec cube x cos x either by converting this into cosec x as 1 by sin x likewise. y is equal to 2 sin x plus 3 cos x. You have to show that d2y by dx2 plus y is equal to 0. So y is nothing but 2 sin x plus 3 cos x. So we can anticipate that differentiating will give you y back that is 2 sin x plus 3 cos x back somewhere. So y is equal to 2 sin x plus 3 cos x. Let us divide it dy by dx. It will be 2 sin x will be cos x plus 3 cos x is minus sin x so I'm, I'm bringing this negative here 3 cos x is minus sin so 2 cos x minus 3 sin x now d2y by dx2 will be 2 cos x will be minus sin x and minus 3 sin x will be cos x so it will remain as negative 3 sin x will be cos x now you just take the negative sign outside what do you see what do you find out 2 sin x plus 3 cos x and which, which is eventual what is y only I mean, we have started with this, eventually we found the same stuff. You have negative y, you can replace it by negative y and this negative y can be brought to the left hand side and it will be d2y by dx2 plus y is equal to 0. This is your final answer. Okay, this is the step by step way of doing it. You have to do it like this absolutely same. This is your, you know, for exam purpose or your class for purpose, the logic is being told by y is equal to log x by x d2y by dx2. So we have y equals log x by x. Now there are two methods to do it. Just apply the question rule or you say it is log x multiplied by 1 by x. So you can apply the product rule rule also so if you have numerator and denominator question rule but if you have numerator and denominator you can use the numerator as it is but the denominator will be one by that denominator can be taken as the second function this is up to you how you are going to solve it which is in which way you are comfortable you have to follow that. so i am following the product rule log x one by x differentiation is negative one by x square plus one by x now log x will be one by x differentiation so this is going to be this is one by x and one by x will be one by x square now minus sign it will be log x by x square now you can take x square in the denominator common one minus one minus log x divided by x square is your dy by dx dy by dx now we have to do d2 y by dx2 so you have to differentiate it twice now d2 y by dx2 will be what so again we will do it I will do it using the product rule. It's up to you. See, this the solution which I have provided is using the quotient rule. But the better way is to do it using the product rule if you are comfortable with. So 1 minus log x by x square. So we'll take the first function as 1 minus log x. The second function is 1 by x square. So d2y by dx2. This is equal to previously uh, I have done the same question using the quotient rule. That is why I am offering you this solution with the product rule. So 1 minus log x, 1 by x square differentiation will be what? See, x square if it goes up. To the numerator it will be x raised to the power minus 2 x raised to the power minus 2 now when we differentiate this it will be n x to the power n minus 1 that is negative 2 x to the power minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 2 to the power x to the power minus 3 and then we have a plus sign here 1 by x square will remain like that 1 minus log x will be differentiating 1 minus log x 1 will be 0 minus log x is 1 by x so negative 1 by x so we have this so i'm bringing it in, in front minus 1 by x cube here again we have a negative so minus 2 1 minus log x and this is divided by x cube now you can take the x cube as the denominator you have negative 1 negative 2 if you multiply negative 2 inside, it will be negative 1, minus 2 into 1 is minus 2, and minus minus is plus, so you have 2 log x. So minus 1 and minus 2 will give you minus 3, negative 3, and then we have this 2 log x, so 2 log x minus 3 divided by x cube. This is the d2y by dx2 you will get. And this is the way you have to write, and there are other ways also which I just indicated, and question rule and product rule both can be applied, but ultimately you have to divide it or differentiate it twice. A is a sec theta, b is b. B, uh, y is b tan theta a is x uh, a sec theta d2 of dx2 is b raise 4 divided by a square y raise 3 now if i observe clearly if i i want you to observe clearly that there is no x on the right hand side so there will be certain way or a step where we are going to eliminate certain things and put certain things but this is a parametric kind of question so this will be done in the way I have indicated you just now. If you are able to do it by yourself, you can just follow these steps and you can do. But for those who want to understand, x is equal to a sec theta, y is equal to b tan theta. Before doing going to d2y by dx2, we have to find dy by dx. So we'll do dx by d theta, that is, we'll differentiate with respect to theta a sec theta is sec theta tan theta. This is dx by d theta. dy by d theta will be what? b 
tan theta will be sec square theta. So in order to get d2y by dx2, you need to get dy by dx. How are you going to get dy by dx? See dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta will give you dy by dx. You have 1 and 2, you have to divide this 1 with 2. So dy by d theta, dx by d theta. Now just uh, divide these two, b sec square theta divided by a sec theta tan theta. Now you can ca cancel this sec sec, so it will be sec by tan so you have b by a and this will give you see sec is 1 by cos tan is sine by cos only 1 by sine will remain that is cosec so you have b by a cosec theta as dy by dx now you have to differentiate it twice d2y by dx2 you have to find so this is b by a cosec theta d2y by dx2 we have to differentiate it but there is only theta here on the right hand side. So in order to do d d2 by dx2, we, we have to differentiate the cosec theta. But cosec theta doesn't have an x. So what do we do? We will differentiate cosec theta as it is. But we will also differentiate theta considering the previous discussion we had. b by a cosec theta is simply minus cosec theta cot theta. You already know that. Differentiation of cosec theta is negative cosec theta cot. But since it is differentiation with respect respect to x and we don't have any differentiation on the with respect to this we have to write this theta as d theta by dx now you come here d theta by dx you already have dx by d theta so in order to get d, th d theta by dx you have to take the reciprocal of it. so write everything like that b by a minus cosec theta cot theta in place of d theta by dx just replace it by the reciprocal of a sec theta tan tan so i am just writing it in the denominator 1 by a sec theta tan theta so this is what you got now the first way to solve this is using the sine cos terminology right writing uh, one, 1 by cosec theta cosec theta is 1 by sine theta cot theta is cos theta by sine theta sec theta is 1 by cos theta tan theta is sine by cos theta this is the one way to do but what do you see on the right that is what without doing this 1 by cos cos by sine all these the best way is you see cot theta and tan theta and you want tan theta on the right hand side also because you know tan cube theta ultimately i'll just tell you y is equal to b tan theta so there is a possibility of rearranging y equals to b tan theta and putting it here right so coming back to this cot theta and tan theta which i was just telling you about cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta then tan theta and tan theta can be multiplied it will be tan square theta from this cot theta and tan theta we got this okay so you get cot and tan as 1 by tan square theta how about this cosec theta and sec theta cosec is 1 by sine and sec will be 1 by cos so ultimately you are going to, going to get 1 by 1 more tan theta in the denominator so you have tan cube theta in the denominator so let me write the final thing it will be b by a and one more a is there because we have a sec theta tan theta b which we bought in place of dx by d theta. So it will be minus b by a square then we have 1 by tan cube theta d2 by dx2 still we are no, we haven't got the result d2 by dx2 is something else so this tan theta has to be eliminated and you see there is y also on the right hand side so we'll use this one the second one y equals to b tan theta so in place of tan theta now you can replace it by y by b since you have tan cube theta you can write tan theta as y by b tan cube theta is y cube by b cube so minus b by a square you have tan cube theta it is y square by b square so when it is reciprocal when it goes up it will be b cube by y cube so b cube by y cube it will be now write b cube by y cube here b cube by y cube now b into b cube is b raised to the power 4 it will be b raised to the power 4 a square and y cube. this is the result all right so this is a very uh, different kind of question with parametric inside this question we are going to take in the next discussion till then thank you so much and take care of yourself